So let's continue and take this yet another step further. According to the research of Dr. David Hawkins, 87% of the human population calibrates below the weakening level of 200, leaving only 13% of the human population calibrating above 200. Now, the scale is actually based on logarithms, which enables the 13% of the human population to counterbalance the other 87%. And if it weren't for the counterbalancing that naturally occurs, we would have destroyed our world and ourselves long ago. So this really begs to ask the question, are you one of the 5,655,000,000 people calibrating below the weakening level of 200? And how would you know? All you really have to do is, is look at every aspect of your life and observe. Are they all in balance and abundant? Is life easy or is it a struggle? Do you feel empowered or disempowered in every aspect of your life? And it really doesn't take kinesiological testing to determine that answer. Right now, you'd probably like to know if there's anything you could do to increase your energy level to a calibration above 200, because mathematically speaking, you're likely one of the 87%. And of course, there is. Heal Thyself explains the entire source energy medicine methodology, including remedies specifically designed to increase energy levels on every aspect of your being from below 200 to above 200, creating an overall energy level above 200. This very powerful remedy series is called Energy Level Progression, or ELP for short. And everyone I know who has taken this, this series of ELP remedies has increased their energy level from below 200 to above 200 and achieved that in less than 30 days. This is truly revolutionary and will not only have a personal positive effect, but you will begin affecting global human consciousness, which to me is really one of the most exciting aspects of all of this work and a source of great hope for the potential and possibility for our future. Another topic of great interest is with regards to health and so-called incurable diseases. From my perspective, there really is no such thing as an incurable disease. A lot of that has to do with my experience as well. There is no such thing as a lost cause. One of the key intentions to source energy medicine is to supply information and technology which will enable anyone to transform all forms of resistance regardless of the nature of the issue. In other words, if someone has a disease, they simply have resistance to vibrant health. If someone struggles financially, they simply have resistance to financial wealth. If someone has had difficulty attracting ideal relationships, they have resistance to ideal relationships. So to clarify, from my perspective, there is little difference between someone with a certain disease from someone who struggles financially. They're both resistance, just in different forms. I truly believe this is an abundant universe. We're not here to struggle. We're not meant to struggle. And I know our human physiology is designed to be self-correcting, self-balancing, and self-healing. And if it weren't for all of the resistance that most of us had, our bodies would be able to do just that. So if you're like me, you're thinking, how do we get rid of all these various forms of resistance? We have developed a variety of source energy medicines to do just that. They transform specific areas of resistance from below 200 to above 200. Transforming energy patterns is a very unique and special feature to source energy medicines. We don't actually combat disease or illness or lack or any area of resistance. The intention is to actually transform upward in frequency all energy patterns that calibrate below 200 to energy patterns that calibrate above 200. So anything below 200 can be looked at as resistance. Anything above 200 can be looked at as allowance. It's simply a subtle shift in energy that has a huge impact and this is actually the quantum physics aspect that most people seem to be interested in these days. We do have a series of remedies, source energy medicines, that institute the attitude of allowance in specific, specific areas. So if you really think of the transformation source energy medicines as getting, what of what, getting rid of what we don't want, or actually more specifically transforming what we don't want, and the attitude of allowance remedies as instituting what we do want. Another common question I often hear is how does one go from reading Heal Thyself to actually taking source energy medicines? On our website, we offer a series of specially designed charging labels that enable anyone to make all of the 170 different source energy medicines in their own home, simply using spring water bottles and applying these labels. Most people relate this process to the work of Dr. Emoto where he actually structures water molecules with intention. Dr. Emoto's work and photographs clearly illustrate and help us to explain how it is that we're able to make such a wide variety of different remedies. It's important to point out that the, the labels can never wear out unless they're physically damaged. They never actually need to be changed or replaced. Heal Thyself and the specially designed charging labels allow us to offer this entire methodology to a worldwide audience at a reasonable price. 
This work was divinely inspired and is intended for the highest good of all. A lot of the positive feedback we receive is related to the outside research that we reference in Heal Thyself. I did not want all of the material in the book to be my own research, my dogma, kind of take it or leave it. So we include the research of credible physicists doing research with water specifically because of water's ability to be imprinted with information. We also include the research of Dr. Masuro Emoto, Dr. Joe Dispenza, who were featured in the film What the Bleep Do We Know, as well as Dr. David Hawkins, Bruce Lipton, Lynn McTaggart, and Greg Braden. My life in many ways and on every level has been enriched, improved, and enhanced by source energy medicine. This work has provided the answer to all of my questions and has been a true blessing. I no longer have any of the signs and symptoms of osteo and rheumatoid arthritis, which ran in my mother's family. All my joints are healthy and pain-free. My sleep is ama amazing, and I re actually require less sleep now than ever before. My vision has been restored, my digestion is great, and I have more physical energy than I did 15 years ago. I feel fantastic and am able to easily maintain an ideal body weight. In November 2006, I began writing Heal Thyself. The dedication was one of the first parts I wrote. Out of deep love and honor, I wanted to dedicate the book to my parents, and I thought it was a great way to start this writing project. By June 2007, the editing phase of Heal Thyself was drawing to an end, and I had to choose a release date. My mother's birthday was June 17th. I thought that would be appropriate to, to release the book on her birthday. So I looked at the calendar. June 17th actually fell on a Sunday, which was also Father's Day that year. It suddenly dawned on me that everything had come full circle. It was the death of my parents two days apart that literally shocked me into making li major life changes and awakened to a higher potential. And here I was releasing my book on my mother's birthday and Father's Day. Every seem, everything seemed in perfect order and perfect synchronicity. My heart was filled with joy, love, and deep gratitude, both for my parents and the divine orchestration of life. So my journey continues to unfold in magical and beautiful ways. My research continues, and my life is surrounded by miracles. Some of my greatest sources of inspiration come from all of the emails and letters that I receive with success stories and accounts of people who truly transform their lives. I hope this information is helpful and inspiring. It's an honor and a pleasure to be of service in this capacity. Thank you and bless you all.